This manufacturer makes candy, coffee, and chocolate syrup with carcinogenic dyes, and their baby food was found to have heavy metals like mercury, cadmium, arsenic, and lead between 5 to 177 times the safe upper limit. So can we really trust that their cat food is healthy? Let's take a look. By the way, one of these brands is a vet recommended that also has a prescription diet. So the first worst cat food brand made by this manufacturer is called Priskies. Well, it rhymes with Priskies. I'm sure you can guess what it is. And the product name is Flavors of Chicken, Salmon, Cheese, and Garden Greens. So that word flavor right there means that there's a 0% minimum requirement of all of those named ingredients. The maximum that it would be is 2.9% combined. If it was called with chicken, salmon, cheese, and garden greens, then it would be at least 3%, but it says flavors. So that minimum requirement drops down to 0%. We're off to a wonderful start. So let's take a look at the meat ingredients. We have chicken byproduct meal. Mmm, doesn't that sound tasty? So at least they're telling us that it's chicken, but the byproduct could mean any part of that chicken, and meal means that it's a rendered ingredient. So that could mean that it could contain 4D meats, which is dead, disease, dying, disabled. Now, in the wild, cats would eat dead animals, I get it, and they would consume the entire prey, which would mean the beak, the feathers, the skin, the feet, etc. But the majority of that whole prey is muscle meat, about 83, around 83% of that is muscle meat. So it's important for cats to have mainly muscle meat and then those beaks and feathers and the brain and the eyes, of course that can provide nutrients because the cat does eat the entire prey. But the bulk needs to be muscle meat and not feathers. And we have no idea what they're using in this food because they don't even have an idea. Next we have beef tallow. Typically these are added as pet food flavor enhancer palatants. Very interesting. Actually a lot of these brands patent these types of palatants. Then we have liver flavor. So right here we have a mystery. What animals supplied this liver? Just liver flavor. See this is the issue with this flavor term, the product name rule, because AFCO states that Again, there's a 0% minimum requirement of these ingredients, and they say that only enough needs to be added so that the flavor is detected. Now, there's a CRS report for Congress on the animal rendering industry that states some of these meats and meat byproducts can come from dead animals from animal shelters. So they don't know what type of litter, liver, they don't know where it's coming from. And then the next meat ingredient that we see is meat and bone meal. So this is a complete mystery. What type of meat are they using? And again, meal is rendered ingredients. So it could be 4D meats. So not only do we know the type of animal, but we also don't know the quality of that animal. Then we have salmon meal, again, another rendered ingredient. So considering that cats are carnivores, this, these meat ingredients are not that impressive. Let's take a look at the other ingredients. So the first ingredient is actually ground yellow corn, corn gluten meal. Then we have soybean meal, powdered cellulose, soybean holes. Gotta love when they split up those ingredients, right? Soy is the same, corn is the same, but they split them up. And it makes sense that all of these carbohydrate and starchy ingredients are in this product because it's dry food. These starchy ingredients are required to hold that kibble shape together because it's cooked and pressurized multiple times. And the carb amount on a dry matter basis approximately is about 47%. And we use the guaranteed analysis to figure that out. Further down the list, we have these carcinogenic dyes, the same colors that they use in human food products. So we have yellow 6, yellow 5, red 40. These have all been found to be contaminated with benzidine, which can cause cancer, or other carcinogens, which would also cause cancer. Give me a polydactyl thumbs up if this is helpful so far so more cat parents that want to feed their cats better can find this video. Thank you. The next worst cat food brand made by this manufacturer is called Crappy Feast. Now this one here is, says wild salmon florentine with garden greens in a delicate sauce. It's just so delicate, so delicate like a flower. So there's no product name here, and unless maybe the with would be the product name, but that's associated with the garden greens and not the meat ingredient. So we technically we have no idea how much meat is in this product. When we look at the meat ingredients, we have fish broth. That's a complete mystery. What type of fish? There are so many different types of fish. And this is important because if the manufacturer doesn't even know what type of fish they're using, how can we feel comfortable feeding this to our cat? 
Then we have salmon. All right, they listed an actual salmon ingredient. That's that's a specific meat source. Then we have liver. <laughs> Where did this liver come from? Then we have meat byproduct. What type of animal is supplying this meat and which type of byproducts are used? Now, I'm sure some people will, will defend byproducts. I get this comment all the time, but I can buy byproducts at my local grocery store. Chicken feet, turkey necks, pig tails, cow feet, pig heart pig fat. So if I can buy all of these clean, fit for human consumption byproducts at the grocery store, what type of secondary, aka leftovers, are going into cat food? Then we have chicken, which is also specifically named, but it's the seventh ingredient. Other ingredients, we have wheat gluten, cornstarch, modified, soy protein, concentrate. And these are some of the worst cat food ingredients. These can cause allergies and they can cause IBD issues, digestion issues, because their cats aren't designed to digest these ingredients. The carbon monoxide dry matter basis is only about 19%, which is below the average of kibble, which is 33%. And this is wet food. So, you know, any type of wet food is still gonna be better than dry dry food because of the moisture content. But there are so many different wet food brands that are much better than this one. Then farther down the ingredients list, we see an inorganic phosphate. And in studies, it has been shown that these inorganic phosphates can cause renal issues in cats. Now we're going to get to the vet recommended brand called Porina. This product name is lamb and rice formula. So this one, we actually see that word formula. It means that the minimum requirement of lamb and rice combined is 25%. The maximum that it would be is 94.9%. So definitely better than the other ones that we looked at, but more ideally you would have just lamb formula instead of lamb and rice because that composition is lamb and rice combined. And we don't want rice in our cat's food. We need meat. So let's take a look at the meat ingredients. We have lamb. All right. That's first, that's good, whole meat, that's great. But remember, this is a dried food, so a lot of that meat is basically cooked away because meat is mostly moisture. Then we have chicken meal, another rendered ingredient. Then we have fish meal. We were so close with the lamb as the first ingredient, so we have two rendered ingredients back to back, plus fish, what type of fish is that? Could be tuna, salmon, tilapia, flounder, cod. There are so many different types of fish. And again, if the manufacturer doesn't know, how can we feel safe and comfortable feeding this to our cats? Then we have beef fat. Mmm, gotta love those palatins. Dried egg product. Yummy. <laughs> it's like they, they don't know what, what part of the egg that they use. Just dried egg product. And then for the other ingredients, we have rice, corn gluten meal, soybean meal, so soy protein isolate. Gotta love that ingredient splitting. Oatmeal, soybean oil, more soy, ode to soy, wheat flour, chicory root, and the carbon amount on a dry matter basis approximately is 27%. So to be fair, this is lower than the average, which is 33%, but still more than double what the cat would eat in the wild, which is about 8%. And we also have an inorganic phosphate, which can cause renal issues. Remember, this is a vet recommended brand. Now don't panic, don't throw your cat's food out right now. Cats are very sensitive to food changes. Check out my transition plan right over Mia. It contains everything that you need to know from pleasing your picky cat to cat food reviews and how to add fresh food toppers on a budget. Thanks for watching.